I'm sure you're familiar with the old expression that if March comes in like a lion, it will go out like a lamb, and vice versa. So, what's the weather in your neck of the woods going to be like today? A lion or a lamb? Hello, Father James Kubicki here, and this old weather saying made me think about how Jesus is both a lamb and a lion. We see both of these in a brief passage from the book of Revelation, chapter 5. No one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. In this mysterious passage, one of St. John's visions, we see Jesus referred to as a lion and appearing as a lamb. He is a lion, the king of beasts or creatures, because he is a lamb, the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Each of us is called to be a lamb like Jesus. We're called, as St. Paul wrote to the Romans chapter 12, to offer our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, our spiritual worship. If we do that, one day at a time, praying and living a daily offering, we will be lambs who will become lions. Following the Lamb of God who gave his life out of love, we will share one day in the glory of the Lion of Judah. Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.